Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a Trezor. I just received this in the mail. It is the original hardware wallet, and this is the Trezor Model 1. I think it cost me around like 60 bucks. I'll have a pop-up right here. But there's also a premium model, this right here. Both links will be down below in the description. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to set one up. So before you go ahead and open it up, make sure it is perfectly sealed. And if that little sticker on the end is broken, something's up. It even says on the back right here, if you suspect something, instantly contact support. You never know what those delivery drivers could do to your product. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to take my bitcoins. I already have a ledger and I love it. So maybe in the future, I'll have like a video comparing the two. Trezor versus ledger video. Yo, I cannot get this box open, bro. Sometimes you got to do it the hard way. I am just joking, don't get your hopes up. They even hooked it up with a Love Bitcoin sticker. Check that out. This right here is the Trezor device. So there's two little buttons. Oh, I just love that, it's so satisfying. So all there is is just a little tiny screen and two simple buttons. You wanna keep this device somewhere safe. You do not wanna know what happens if you lose it. Bad things happen. You're gonna also need a piece of paper and a pen to write down your seed phrase. You're gonna wanna also keep this seed phrase somewhere very, very secure. I even recommend like writing it down twice, keeping one in a safe, keeping one in a different safe. You wanna be prepared for anything to happen. You just wanna do whatever it takes to not lose that seed phrase. That's all. <laughs> and what's actually pretty cool, they actually included a little index card. You can write your seed phrase down. So you want to fold this up and keep this somewhere secure. Oh, they actually included two of them. I wish I saw that before I told you to go grab a piece of paper and a pen. You're still going to need a pen. It also includes a little keychain thing. Okay, so now I'm over on their website. I already own a Tracer, and I'm going to download the desktop app. I'm going to make this tutorial like really fast. I know people have very short attention spans, including myself. Congratulations on getting a new Trezor. Awesome, it downloaded. Now go ahead and connect the Trezor to your computer. Now we're going to have to install some firmware. Should only take a little bit of time. Oh yeah, that thing's speed racing. And on my device, it also shows it's installing. Okay, so it's asking me to unplug my device. Update finished successfully. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and press continue. Okay, so now this is where you're gonna wanna be extra careful. We're gonna create a wallet. So go ahead and select create new wallet. Standard seed backup. Now we have to go ahead and confirm it on our device. Just a simple click of a button. Just like that subscribe button. Got you there. Just like that, successfully set up my Trezor. But you are not done yet. Definitely make sure you create a backup. This is basically your password, but instead of making a password, they give you a seed phrase. That seed phrase, you do not want to share with anybody. You're going to want to confirm all three of these and make sure you understand all the instructions. You never want to take a picture of this or have the seed phrase on your computer. If you were to get hacked, they would instantly find that phrase and would have instant access to all of your tokens. So only store this seed phrase on a piece of paper. I'm just trying to save you. Okay, so go ahead and pause this video, write down that seed phrase. On the device, it will show you each word one by one. Just click the button and it will scroll through. Make sure to take your time. Definitely, definitely, definitely take your time with this. I'm like telling myself that too. Okay, I just completed writing down my seed phrase, which none of you can see. Now I'm going to go on the device and go through all the words just to make sure I didn't misspell something, skip a word, something like that. I just want to go through and make sure every single word is correct. So make sure you do the same. Okay, perfect. Back up successful. Wow, that was like way easier than I thought. Now continue with a pin. Now we're going to set up a pin code, which is just another layer of security. You're going to have to put in this pin every single time you do a transaction, swap coins. So you're going to want to make it something that you'll remember. Let me go ahead and set mine. Oh, you can't see this. Sorry, guys. It's as simple as that. Now all we have to do is continue. And here are all the tokens that you can store on your Trezor device. Oh, sorry, XRP fans. Got to buy the Model T. So of course, they have the main tokens, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. It says down here that they include ERC tokens. So we'll have to check that out. Let's just do uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. So like I said, all of the links are down below in the description. So now I'm going to go ahead and name my device. Let me confirm that. Awesome. So this right here is my standard wallet. And it's pretty cool how they include like a portfolio app. When you receive tokens, they'll actually track it here on this application, which is pretty cool. I'm currently here on the dashboard. And if you go over here to receive, you will have your Bitcoin address and your Ethereum address. So to receive tokens, just go over to receive, show full address, and now you have a new ETH address. You can send all of your coins directly to your Trezor. 
Also, any token built on Ethereum, you can send to this wallet directly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. They got some news articles down here. They have the security. You can go discrete mode and hide your balances and change your pin down here. This is basically the central hub of your device because you can't access too much on this little tiny device on this little tiny screen. So the best thing to do is to mess with this dashboard. Crypto security should be everyone's number one priority. I kept saying to myself, I'm going to buy one. I'll buy one eventually. I'll buy one eventually. I never did. I got hacked. $1,000 stolen out of my MetaMask and having a hardware device would have prevented that. So I'm going to use my platform to tell every single person to buy one of these devices. The quote that I love is if you have more money invested in the crypto than the price of one of these devices, you should 110% have one. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and I will be giving away three ledger devices to three subscribers when I hit 30,000 subscribers. Wow, that was a mouthful. So smash that subscribe button. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Always keep your head up and stay positive. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.